All right, doing some deliveries today on the High Boy S2R. I took this with me on the Urban Era to get it to campus today. I'm just gonna tool around with it and see how it goes. Got two Uber Eats orders right now. We're gonna go grab. There's my Urban Arrow over there, parked up. All right, let's get to it. We're running DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub at the same time. Monday is always a bit slow, so we'll see how things go today over the lunch hour. The STR, the S2R is a funny scooter. I like it, it's got the removable battery, which makes it potentially interesting food delivery option, especially because it's a very cheap scooter, solid wheels, no suspension, it's a bumpy ride. But the thing about the STR I like is how small it is. It's definitely one of the smaller scooters I have that still goes pretty fast. Um, it makes it real convenient for bringing in places. For Tony. Thank you. Oops, sorry, thank you. So you can see the advantage of doing scooter delivery or bike or anything. How you just get around our old traffic. You don't have to wait. You just go right through it. And in a place like this campus, this is made for, for scooters, for bikes, no gas, low maintenance. Hey for Erica. Okay, well that one is a failure. We're gonna dump it and wait for a new one. It's taking too long. So sometimes you just gotta forget about these ones. It's an example of one. Okay, next stop, Noodles and Company. Pick up this DoorDash order. That one is an example of one though, that last one where sometimes it's just taking too long. You gotta cut your losses and move on, wait for another one. Especially during lunch. You'll always get more deliveries, so I'll just wait. And that one wasn't necessarily going the right direction either. Hi for James. Thank you so much. Thank you.
gotta be a little careful on this scooter though. It's definitely not quite as, the wheels are small. It's not quite as sturdy feeling. So on uneven ground, you know, you risk falling if you're going too fast. Um, I'm not too worried about it. You know, I'm generally a pretty good scooter rider. That's just something to be aware of. The bell, it's all right, it's a bell. Hello, this is Kevin with uh, DoorDash. Yep, I'm just right at the front door. All right, yep, see you in a second. There you go, have a good one. This used to be a really bumpy path. It looks like they've repaved it, which is makes it a lot easier now to get around. pick up this uh, Grubhub order. It was a double order, but the second one was going way too far away, so I dumped that one. Just grabbing the first one. I'll drop this one off. I got two Uber Eats orders in the queue right now. So, we're gonna move quick on these. Picking up for, uh, whoops, who am I picking up for? For Julia, Julia F, Grubhub. Julia F? Yep. Here, this, this is a street that they use. They always talk about improving it. It's a heavily trafficked bike lane with fast moving traffic. You could really use protection. 
probably doesn't need to be three lanes across, but it's what it is right now. door down university this one actually isn't so bad they got a lot of, a lot of borders and they put these uh plastic ballers I know some people aren't big fans of them but you know for me at least they at least get differentiate a little bit. It's not like a physical barrier, but something. Three bars. Down to three bars on the scooter. So yeah, this isn't an all-day one, but you know, with the removable battery on this scooter, you could really buy a second battery. Get probably 30 miles of range. That covers that can cover a lot and if you're working in a city. If you really want you can get extra batteries even more. So it's kind of an interesting scooter. Interesting little scooter. I like it. You know? Because yeah, like the high-end scooters, like you don't really need them. They're cool to have. But like I just find if you're gonna spend, if you're spending a lot of money on a scooter, it's like you could spend on e-bike instead which has a lot more versatility to it, you know, holding cargo, that kind of thing. Not to say scooters don't have their place. But the scooters do have their place in that, you know, especially for multimodal transit and, you know, if you live in an apartment or dense area or something like that, it's a lot easier to go around with this and store it away. I mean, it folds up, stick it in a closet or something. interesting to point out is the double it only has one brake on the rear but you can break it either using this toggle here or just like the regular brake the regular cable brake so I kind of like having that the two braking options I'm not quite sure I, I'm not quite sure how this other brake works if it's cutting the motor off maybe or something I have to look into that more but it's kind of nice Depending where my hands are, I got both options. For G Pang and Liu. Thank you. All right, thank you. Persons. I mean, these people do this a lot. These college kids, they order delivery like right around the block. It's literally, that was the, it's literally, this restaurant's attached to the same building. As in, they order from here and here's the delivery location. One of the annoying things with Uber Eats though, is that if sometimes you deliver it too quickly, it won't let you complete it. It won't let you complete the order, which can be super annoying because then you have to wait a little bit to see how it goes here. So we gotta wait a little bit to see if it'll go through. Looks like it went through. That's not good.
right. Oh, hey. Let's see. All right, here we are. Throw this one here. probably be it for us unless we get something coming back but we'll see meantime I'll get back to work this street you always gotta be careful there's always one bump somewhere along here it always gets me it's like a dip in the ground it's hard to see this one right here always gets me every freaking time U of M Stadium. This is one of the nice things about being on a scooter or e-bike is you kind of just go through the stadium instead of having to go around it. Five guys to get shot when I do, so I'll get myself some five guys delivered for free. In the meantime, yeah, so that is probably gonna do it for this video. Uh, five deliveries completed. Um, I'll have to see what the numbers come in for the Uber Eats. But I'm thinking, you know, somewhere around thirty dollars and. Um, around $30 in about an hour so on a slow day too so not bad actually considering the fact that I had very few deliveries and I got caught waiting at that one restaurant for a while so it's actually not bad at all and yeah so that'll do it for this video here I'm heading back get some work done and uh see you on the next one